Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Christmas Gym Shore figurines. I did a Halloween one before and I will put the link down below for those of you who didn't get to see it. I'm a very big fan of Gym Shore, if you guys didn't already know. I'm always like scouting for new figurines every, every day, honestly. I get most of my figurines on Amazon because they are a lot less expensive than um, buying them from Hallmark or from the actual website of Gym Shore. If you see anything on here, that you liked go to Amazon and check them out on Amazon. I will try to leave the link for all of the figurines that I do mention today. These figurines are being displayed right now in my house. If you guys want to see how I display them, I'm actually going to be doing a holiday decor video soon where I'll just like take you around my house and show you how I display things. So please stay tuned for that. So the first two I'm going to show you are Winnie the Pooh themed. The first one that I'm going to show you is of Pooh and Tigger and they're holding on to a snowman. Just the way that Jim Shore designs his figurines are absolutely beautiful. The next figurine that I'm gonna show you is of Tigger, and again, it's that same uh, concept with the snowman. He usually does this to Winnie the Pooh, where Tigger just like hops on Pooh and just like hops on top of him so he's doing it to a snowman in this figurine it's really cute Tigger is wearing the Santa hat and he just looks super adorable the next one I'm gonna show you is just a really random I thought it would it worked really well with my shelf so I bought it anyway and he is one of my favorite dwarves and that is dopey and he's basically just sitting down and uh, being dopey he's playing with the Christmas lights what I like about this is that the Christmas lights are actually not carved and a part of the figurine they kind of like um, hang there which is really cool and he is wearing a Christmas hat which I think is adorable and he just looks so cute and so dopey. I think the only thing that would have made this even better is if the Christmas lights that he's holding actually lit up. They don't though. But I still think that this is a very cute figurine to have and to display in your house during the Christmas season. The next two that I'm going to show you are part of, I think, a collection of figurines that Jim Shore came out with and it basically takes a princess and turns her dress into an ornament and you'll understand in a second. I only bought two of them, there's four that I know of, but these two were the ones that I really liked and these were a little bit more expensive so I couldn't really buy the entire collection because it's way too much. The first one that I'm going to show you is of Snow White. Snow White is wearing a beautiful, beautiful uh, blue cape. She does wear a blue cape in the movie but you could tell that this one will keep her snug and warm. Obviously she has her yellow dress on, she's making like this very princess pose and on the inside of her dress where her legs should be um, <laughs> is an ornament of Dopey and I think Dopey stands out a lot in Snow White um, just because he's so uh, different from all the other dwarves so I think that's why they chose Dopey and I think he's the most well-known of the dwarves in the movie Snow White. It's very unique I don't think everyone would like this but I like this concept of it so I ended up buying it. Other princess that I have in this collection is Ariel. Again, Ariel is wearing her green dress that she wears and she's also wearing a, a purple cape in the back to keep her warm. Inside of her is Flounder, of course, because that's her best friend. She also has a piece of holly in her hair. I think her hair looks absolutely gorgeous. What do you guys think of these kinds of figurines? I know it's not, it's very different because again, the, an ornament is hanging 
inside their dress. The other two princesses that are in this collection are Cinderella and Rapunzel. I actually really want Cinderella, but I just don't think that I have the room right now to display her, so I didn't buy her. And then there's also Rapunzel. I might end up buying all of them in like uh, later on, but right now I'm happy with the two that I bought. The other three that I'm gonna show you are fairly recent purchases, and I'm really happy with this collection. I've never seen it before, so I think Jim Shore created this line this year for Christmas. I may be mistaken though, maybe they were around, but this is the first time that I ever saw them. And when I saw them, I knew I needed to have them because I'm a big fan of the Nutcracker Ballet. I'm actually going to go see it with my husband been for an anniversary so I'm really excited for that. Jim Shore took Mickey, Minnie, and Donald and turned them into Nutcrackers. So I'm going to show you Mickey first. He is so adorable. He is the toy soldier I'm assuming from the Nutcracker Ballet. They actually do have a um, handle in the back that makes them crack nuts. His mouth does open and close and I can show you the handle in the back that Congrats. goes up and down. This is definitely unique compared to other Christmas figurines that I've seen in this uh, in Jim Shore collections. Then we have Minnie as the ballerina, and I think she's so cute. She's wearing ballet slippers, she's wearing like the whole outfit, the tutu and everything, and the leotard. And then she also does have the handle in the back that makes her open and close her mouth. The last statue in this collection is Donald. I think he's the king because he's wearing a crown and he's holding up a sword. I actually really like his outfit. It's like pink and purple and he has like ruffles. I love also the crown detailing on the top and of course his mouth goes up and down as well. It's more of his tongue, not his really his mouth, but it still looks really cool. All three of these together I think work so well. I definitely do think that if you're a statue collector, you need these in your collection. Each of these was about $35, so all together about like $110 if I'm doing the math correct. But I do think it's worth it, so if you guys are looking for either a person that loves the Nutcracker and Disney or just loves um, Christmas figurines, this would definitely be a great gift to give someone for Christmas. Okay, and the last three figurines that I'm gonna show you that I have that are Christmas themed are actually not Disney themed. I'm a very big Grinch fan. I love the Jim Carrey version. It's just really funny and I really love the Grinch. I love the whole concept of the story, how a little girl turns this like evil character's heart into mush basically. Jim Shore, lo and behold, came out with a Grinch line. I kinda wanted to buy all of the figurines in this collection, but I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to make my husband have a heart attack so instead I chose three of them so the first one that I'm gonna show you is of Cindy Lou Who this one's pretty small I mean she's kind of like the not even the size of my palm she's holding a candy cane she has a present next to her she's wearing like really cute pink slippers and she just looks really really cute so I knew I needed her for my um, Grinch I guess collection that I have going on The next figurine that I really wanted was Grinch holding up a Christmas tree. Now, when I saw this online, um, I thought it was gonna be smaller than this, but it's pretty big. And this is it, it's a Grinch, and he's holding a Christmas tree, obviously he's stealing it, not holding it, and he's wearing a Santa hat. His expression is just so sinister, and I just love the whole concept, like it looks like his, um, why am I like caressing his butt? <laughs> it looks like it's his fur. Like he captured the character very well. Oh, 
Okay, the last one that I saved is so gorgeous. The details on this one is so pretty. This was the most expensive one out of the three in the Grinch collection that I bought. And it is this beauty over here. There's just so much going on, but it works so well together. So obviously this is the part in the movie where he's celebrating because he stole all of the Christmas presents and he put them in his sack and he's like on his sleigh and there's Max over there. You can see all of the presents in the sack. You can see that he stole Christmas trees. There's a wreath on there and he is blowing his little trumpet, I think out of like celebration because he thinks he stole Christmas. But little does he know that it's not about the presents and it's not about okay. all the things that you get. It's more about the people that you're with and your loved ones. This is definitely one of my favorite figurines in my entire collection. I definitely would recommend this one. So pretty. So those were my Christmas figurines. There's so many different ones that I still want, but I've been trying to control myself. Like I said, if you missed my Halloween Jim Shore figurine collection, I will leave the link down below for that. And also, I am going to be doing a full Disney Jim Shore figurine collection in the future. I don't know when because they're just everywhere displayed all over my house, so it's gonna take a while to get them all <coughs> together you okay i hope you guys enjoyed this um i love showing you guys my little like obsessions that i have i have a lot a lot of obsessions in this household i hope you guys have a magical day bye